We'll begin by covering a few of the secondary features. Yeah, one issue we've heard from developers is a need to add comments and documentation to their programs. For a long time, V allowed you to add a description to an object. But unfortunately, there was no easy way to determine which objects had them. Now, with V75, any object that has an associated description is indicated visually with this red identification mark. You can also click on it to pop up the description text window. This indicator is also visible for user objects and user functions in V's Program Explorer. We've also added another feature which will make developing panels easier. How many times have you built a sophisticated panel and then spaced where the particular panel view object is for the corresponding detail view object? Previously, you could locate a detail view object from the associated panel view object, but not vice versa. Now we've closed the loop and allow you to find any object's corresponding panel view object. I've wanted that forever. Thank God we added that. <laughs> As you know, being an open platform and all, we are constantly adding support for emerging technologies. So for this release, there's a new driver type supported. IVCOM. Yeah, and there are thousands of IVCOM drivers. <laughs> and there are hundreds of IV. And there are lots of IVCOM drivers available on the Agilent Developer Network. And they're free, too. Hey, Jeff, we've got a treat for our VTV audience. A special guest who will talk about another cool feature in V75. <gasps> William Shatner? Mark <laughs> Hamill? Way cooler than those guys. Check this out. <laughs>